Mysterious reoccurring blood splatter in our bathrooms is my husband lying to me. Since me, 24F, and my husband, 26M, have moved into our apartment eight months ago, I have been finding random blood splattering on the walls, cabinets, and floors around our toilets, and once even our bathroom mirror. They're usually tiny droplets, but sometimes they get smeared on the walls or floor, I assume when they're fresh, wet. I know that the first suspect would be menstruation blood. However, I have not had a period in two years thanks to my birth control. I first noticed it about three or four months ago. I've asked my husband about it, and the first few times he would tell me that he had no clue where it came from or how it got there. But after I would clean it up and new ones would appear, I kept would ask him again. Eventually, he told me that sometimes when he blows his nose, his nose bleeds, and it could be from that. I partially accepted that answer. However, I can't recall a single time where I've blown my nose and missed the tissue so much that my snot sprayed all around me. I also mentioned to him that your nose is not supposed to bleed when you blow it, and maybe he should see an ENT to see what's up, but he refuses and says it's fine. So the cycle continues. I clean up blood droplets, and they reappear around our toilets in a matter of days. When I mention them, he gets frustrated and short with me and doesn't want to talk about it. He has doubled down on the it's from blowing my nose thing, but I still can't imagine how one. He blows his nose so terribly that it sprays snotty blood in every direction, and two, his nose bleeds every day, and he's not concerned about it. I recently asked him if his nose has always done that. I previously dated somebody with a thin nose lining, and they once got a massive nosebleed from me doing the got your nose thing so I know it's possible. But he said no, he doesn't think. It's been like that always, and then he pressured me to stop the conversation. Also, I would never find blood in our previous house's bathrooms, and we lived there for four years. I'll add that we have a regular sex life, and I've seen basically every inch of him, and there's no sign of any cuts or trauma anywhere. I'm sick of cleaning up blood, and I'm also repulsed by the idea that he doesn't know how to blow his nose without spraying bloody mucus everywhere. I'm also very concerned for him if he really has new nosebleeds every day, as a friend from high school had this happen and he ignored it and it ended up being cancer in his sinus cavities. So here I am, asking Reddit, what the heck is going on? Is he lying to me? Is it really his nose? If so, why is he suddenly bleeding every day? Why is he so defensive about it? What is going on? Edit to answer some FAQs. Yes, we have pets, but the blood shows up only bathrooms, including the guest en suite where the pets are not allowed ever. Those rooms are closed off. No blood anywhere where the pets are allowed. I am in control of finances and there is no money missing ever. Both our direct deposits go into our joint account. He has a credit card, but the only checking account he has is our joint one. He does have hemorrhoids, but so do I. Thanks, Crohn's disease. And I've never gotten blood anywhere but the toilet. He gets medical anxiety, and this could be why he is defensive BC. He should probably see a doctor. He told me that when he goes to the bathroom at night, he doesn't turn any lights on so that he doesn't wake me. I'm a light sleeper, and when he blows his nose, he doesn't see the blood since it's dark. He does have pretty bad allergies. He has had no behavioral changes since this started, also adding a comment I made. For those suggesting drugs, I am not dismissing you. I'm getting shamed for ignoring the comments, suggesting it's drugs, but I'm still absorbing the possibility that it might be, and I need time. I also can't just willy-nilly accuse my husband of doing drugs without hard evidence, because if I did and he isn't doing drugs, then that'll put a huge strain on our relationship. If my husband accused me of shooting up in my spare time without evidence, I would be pissed. Again, I'm not ignoring you or dismissing your theories. I'm just taking my time because that's a shocking thing, and I need to process the possibility. So if he were hiding drugs in our tiny apartment, where should I look? I checked inside the toilets. I pulled apart every drawer. Our ceilings are too high for either of us to reach. If you have experience with addiction, or living with someone with addiction, please guide me to finding more evidence. Update 1. We solved the case of the bloody bathroom. Now, I know that there will inevitably be some users who truly believe that my husband is discreetly hiding a drug problem despite this update and harass me about it, so I will be no longer using this account after it's posted. To preface, I received about 10 DMs that offered to send pictures of what their, or a loved one's, blood evidence of shooting up or snorting looked like, and I was thankful that literally none of it looked like what I was finding. Those photos, the lack of gaps in our finances, no history of unexplainable personality changes, 
as well as the fact that I cleaned searched every inch of our 800 square foot apartment and found nothing suspicious, solidified my conclusion that it wasn't drugs, I am pleased to announce that my husband is just gross. Before I continue, I'd like to thank those who sent me photos and personal anecdotes of their or their loved one's drug use, and I wish you all peace and good health in your lives. So obviously it's been a few months since my post. In that time, I was harassed in my DMs with people calling me ignorant, some suggesting that I divorce my husband based on this wild possibly that he might be using hard drugs. Firstly, if my husband had a drug problem, I wouldn't leave him LOL I'd want to help him. I love him, and addiction is a disease and he would need support. But alas, I found myself searching dark corners of cabinets and furniture crevices for secret drug hiding spots and found nothing. I sat him down for yet another conversation about the blood, and he reassured me he was having nighttime nosebleeds and promised that he would turn on the lights from then on to make sure he cleaned it up because I did not deserve the burden of doing so for him. He lived up to his promise, and after that conversation, I noticed he was turning the light on when he went to blow his nose at night and the blood drops stopped appearing. Fast forward to two weeks ago, I was on Instagram and came across a reel that was titled, Signs You're Using Your Nasal Spray Wrong. The very first sign was new, unrelenting nosebleeds. The metaphorical light bulb over my head illuminated, as I remembered that since we moved to a new part of the state, my husband's allergies have been worse, and he started taking Flonase to control it. The time of the blood appearing was about a week and a half after he started taking the nasal spray. I know this because he uses my prescription ever since Flonase came out with a pill version that I like better. As soon as he came home, I showed him the video I saw, which also demonstrated how to properly use nasal sprays. You have to tilt it, not shoot it straight up. He took a week off of the Flonase to reset his sinuses, and last week started using it again, the correct way. And holy cow. He stopped snoring, his voice sounds different, his nose stopped whistling, and thank the Lord, he stopped having midnight nosebleeds, no more blood, but also no more paranoia on my part, and he can properly breathe out of his nose for the first time we moved here. You may be wondering why he didn't see a doctor when the nosebleed started, it's because we are poor and he has medical anxiety. But yeah, case solved. 